Okay, hi everybody, welcome to a new video. In this video, we will do the transient analysis of a low pass filter. So let's make the low pass filter a new schematic, of course, and now start to draw the circuit. In order to draw the circuit, I will use some shortcuts. If you want to know what are these, what are these shortcuts, please see my video. Okay, let's draw a resistor because low pass filter containing a resistor, the simple low pass filter filter first order containing a resistor and a capacitor and also a voltage and if you don't specify the ground you will have some problem when you s do the simulation so please remember to draw the ground okay now we need to have wire to connect them together of course uh, it looks very weird for the wire here but it doesn't matter Okay, now we finished for connecting them. Even though you could see there are two grounds, but actually they are connected to each other, to only one ground. They are only one ground. Now let's specify the values of the resistor. How to do that? Move your mouse to the resistor, right click, and specify it around like I choose the value, depends on you. I choose it 1000 ohm. I don't want to write it like 1000 ohm explicitly I will use the scientific notation and then for the capacitor I will put the capacitance around like uh, one micro farad and for the voltage because we want to have the simulation of uh, the transient analysis of the low pass filter so the input we would like to see like a swear wave or like many poles many poles together will be a swear wave let's say advanced in this uh, simulation we just need to pay attention to the functions and uh, now you can see m the illustrations what are these illustrations about let's choose the poles now in this post you see there are many parameters and this illustration is for specifying the meaning of these parameter uh, when you're looking at the figure on the right, you you will understand what are these parameters are for. So for the V initial, I'll choose is zero. V on one, T delay, temp delay is zero. Arise temp and fall temp. Please remember to indicate some very small values. If you indicate them zero zero to make an ideal pose, the software will automatically modify them and you don't take exact control over them as a result please put a very small value how could you know whether it's small or it's big okay let's just put it like one microsecond and then here the t on will will specify around like four millisecond four millisecond uh, of course as i said before if you look at the t rise and t4 compared to t on the magnitude of them is very small, so small that they can consider almost like instant. In that case, the software will create almost a ideal pose. For the T period, uh, if you look at the figure, you will know the range for the T period, and I will choose around like eight millisecond. Okay, for the number of cycles, you don't have to specify because uh, doing the simulation we will implicitly simplify how many no we will ex implicitly identify how many period of the pulse we want to see within the square wave signal so now let's press ok this is the information of our input voltage even though it's a pulse but you will see a square wave let's do the simulation edit simulation command choose the transient tab because we're gonna do the transient simulation stop time yes as I said now here where you're gonna specify how many periods of the poles that you want to see one period is 8 milliseconds I want to see three periods so we need to have 24 milliseconds and the rest don't care in this case you only need to pay attention to the stop time this is enough for the transient analysis. Click OK. Now we got the option. Let's run. 
up before running. I want to put some label for the input and also for the output. Why? You will see when we run the simulation. Let's put the input here and let's put the output over there. This is the output. Okay, done. Let's run the simulation. Nothing happens because we haven't measured anything. Let's measure the input. Oh, now we see this is the signal of the input which looks exactly like an ideal square wave. As I said, because I label this one is input voltage and here you could see the input voltage. And let's measure the output. Okay, now the output also appears here and because I label it as out, that's why we have output voltage. Uh, in this case, let's check. Uh, let's check the formula for the time constant of a low pass filter and also one more information. At the time constant, the value of the output voltage will be around like 70% of the input voltage amplitude. In this case, we have the input voltage amplitude around 1 volt. As a result, at the time constant, the V out will be around like 0 0.7 volt or in another word, 700 millivolt. How could we check it? Uh, here you could see I put the formula already. Uh, to check it, we need to, to have some cursor. Move the mouse to the title V out. Now you, ha you could see this box. We choose the first cursor attached to the V out. Click OK. And here you see it appears here. This is the first cursor. Move it to around like um, seven, seven hundred millivo millivolt. Okay, this is almost like seven hundred millivolt. Oh, sorry. Okay, now almost seven hundred millivolt. We got the temp at one point two millisecond. Very close to the formula prediction. So everything is good, totally perfect for the transient analysis of the low pass filter. You could do the same thing for high pass and uh, for all the circuits that you want to see the transient analysis. Transient analysis means the time domain of the signal. So this is the end for the transient analysis. But don't forget to s see my next video next weekend. It will include more information about how could you do many simulations on the same circuit transient analysis and also frequency simulation on the same circuit without um, drawing a new schematic. Okay, see you soon. Goodbye.